Summary Israelis push for recognition of outpost tensions escalate in the occupied West Bank Jerusalem, April 10, thousands of Israelis, including ministers of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's right-wing government, marched to an evacuated Jewish outpost in the West Bank on Monday to support settlements deemed illegal under international law. As tensions escalated between Israelis and Palestinians, Israelis from all over country made their way to the Eviatar outpost during Passover holiday week, waving Israeli flags and chanting religious song slogans. The Palestinian Red Crescent said that Israeli soldiers used rubber bullets and tear gas to stone-throwing Palestinian protesters near Beta, wounding 17 people with rubber bullets and two people with gas canisters. More than 90 Palestinians and at least 19 Israelis and foreigners have been killed since January. Samaria's regional council, which represents settlers the Northwest Bank, said in a statement that its leader, Yossi Dagan, told attendees that the settlements were response to what he called a wave of terror. Now they understand why I'm pushing for establishment of a National Guard, Edomar ben Gvir, the far-right security chief in Netanyahu's cabinet, said at Israeli demonstration. Surrounded by heavy guards, which he surrounded on Monday, Ben Gvir was authorized last week to command a National Guard focused on the Arab unrest. Netanyahu delayed giving him direct command after his political opponents expressed concerns that the force could become a sectarian militia. 16. Israeli settlers hold a protest march from Tapuak Junction to Eviatar, the Israeli settler outpost in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, April 10, 2023. Near Elias 12345 many countries view Jewish settlements in the West Bank seized from Jordan in the 1967 war as a violation of international law. Israel disputes this and cites biblical and historical connections to the land as well as security needs. Hospital officials said on Monday that the mother of two Israeli sisters killed in an attack in the occupied West Bank last week from injuries sustained. All three were dual citizens of Israel and the UK. Tragic news that Leah D. also after the heinous attacks in the West Bank, said British Foreign Secretary James Cleverly on his Twitter account. There can be no justification for the of Leah and her two daughters, Maya and Rena. Israeli forces continue to trace the attacker. The far-right Israeli government, which took office in late December, supports the recognition and expansion of Jewish settlements in the West Bank territory, where Palestinians envision a future independent state. Last month, Israeli parliament cleared the way for Jewish settlers to return to four settlements in West Bank. In February, Israel retroactively recognized eight illegal West Bank outposts, again condemned by international organizations. These did not include Eviatar. Since the 1967 war, Israel has established about 140 settlements on what Palestinians see as the nucleus of a future state. Besides authorized settlements, settler groups built numerous outposts without government permission. U.S.-backed statehood talks have stalled since 2014 as Jewish settlements expand. As Emily Rose reported, editing Hugh Lawson and Howard Goller.